In question 3 of this series, they want us to integrate, this time, a definite integral. Notice that they want us to find the area of this function, x over the square root of 1 plus x dx, between 0 and 3. Once again, we're faced with an expression containing a radical. So the first thing that we want to do is change this into fractional exponents, as opposed to radicals. And here's what I mean. We have the integral between 0 and 3. That stays the same, the numerator. The denominator becomes 1 plus x to the power of half dx. Just like before, what I'll do is set this whole radical equal to a letter. And that can be any letter of your choice. I'm going to choose z, giving us z is equal to 1 plus x to the power of half. And I'll solve for x. I can do that by squaring both sides. This gives me z to the power of 2 on the left side. And on the right side, this 2 and this half cancel out, giving us 1 plus x. Taking this 1 over, we have z to the power of 2 minus 1 is equal to x. So not only has this changed into x, but this x has become z to the power of 2 minus 1. So we have the integral between 0 and 3, z to the power of 2 minus 1 over z. Now, originally, our function was in terms of x, so we had dx, but now it's in terms of z. So we have to change this dx into dz, and the only way we can do that is by taking the derivative of this equation with respect to z. Here's how. You have dx over dz. I'm deriving implicitly. And on the left side, we have 2z, and the derivative of negative 1 is 0. I use the power rule for both of these terms. As mentioned, I need to change this dx in terms of dz. And the way I can do that is by multiplying both sides now by dz. And now I have dz times 2z is equal to dx. So here I'll write down 2z dz. And I'll put this in brackets and this in brackets. The next thing that I'll do is multiply this 2z with these two terms at the top, giving me the integral. and the bounds will also change because now the expression is in terms of z, whereas these bounds were with respect to x. So we'll change those bounds after this next step. We have 2z times z to the power of 2, which is 2z to the power of 3 over z. And 2z times negative 1 is negative 2z over z dz. This z and one of these cancel out. This z cancels out with this one. And at the same time, I'll find out the brand new bounds. I can do that by substituting 0 and 3 into what I originally set z equal to. z was originally set equal to the square root of 1 plus x, or 1 plus x to the power of half. Substituting 0 into here, I end up with the square root of 1, which is 1. That has become a 1. And substituting 3 into here makes it 4. The square root of 4 is 2. Now I have the integral between 1 and 2. 2 times z to the power of 2 minus 2 dz. To find the integral of these two terms is very easy. We add 1 to each of these exponents. This becomes z. So we have 2 z to the power of 3 over 3. The sum of this, you also divide that term by minus 2z between 1 and 2. My last step is to evaluate these two terms at both 2 and 1 and then subtract. So let's place this 2 into here. We have 2 to the power of 3 is 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16 divided by 3 is 16 over 3. And this is 4. Now I'll evaluate these two terms at 1. 1 to the power of 3 is 1, times 2 is 2 over 3. 2 times 1 is negative 2. Using our calculator, 16 over 3 minus 4. We end up with 4 over 3 minus the difference of those two terms, 2 over 3 
minus 2. So we have 4 over 3 minus minus 4 over 3. So 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3. And we end up with 8 over 3. That represents the area underneath the curve of this function between 0 and 3. And there you have it. That is how to integrate by algebraic substitution.